the silent. Good old silent. You know, if I were any other character in the game, I would be looking to go this way. But I don't think the silent ever does that. It's not true. Sometimes the silent does that. What's this path like? Eh, a little lackluster. An okay path in here if we can get through this elite. Seems like getting through that elite is important. If I can get through this elite, we get to heal, we get potions before the next elite, and then another elite will be in okay shape at the end of the act. We have to get through this one. Okay. I think I'll take an early store and just buy an offensive card or potion. A blood teal killer. And sleep in Minecraft. Good thinking. Good thinking. So probably not going to be taking a lot of shiv type cards. This run. With a choker. But a card like Predator would be really nice, or Crippling Cloud. Dagger Spray versus Deadly Poison. I'll take the early Dagger Spray. We could use the Deadly Poison for Hexaghost Fight. But Hexaghost Fight's still a long way away. There's an Attack Potion here. That's basically what I'm hoping to use this store floor for. Uh, I could take a Piercing Whale if I wanted. I think it's a bit early for it. In chow -tow. Ouch. Strength pot, riddle with holes. I think this is a riddle. It lets me dump energy into damage, which is something I need to do with four energy to start the run. And it also works pretty decently with the strength potion. So that should ensure we can get through an elite or two. Sarascarine thinks of 13 months. Hey, Mario Murr. was close. Wow. G-H-H-L-B-S-K. Hello, hey Dylan here. Phoenix Spirit. Oh. A lot of options there. I'm gonna take all out attack. I might actually kill this super elite. My potions are really good. I don't know, we'll see. My deck's not set up the best ever for this fight. Cram of the Mask, he's IP, G World Repent, be rending. Hmm. Too bad. 15 damage like the one fight. There is a crow going absolutely nuts outside my window right now. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, pole, he's a fluber, he's skyro coaster, he rev chick flick. Letter opener, distilled chaos. I want a copy of Blur. Close. I think not quite right now. Close though. I'm gonna take it. We gotta rest if we're gonna take a super elite, which I am going to do. Okay, we got strength centuries. That's actually pretty tame, I think.
internal fates. <laughs> he's Scarecrow. He Time Warner, he Rain, he Boigle, he Scooter, he Freak LB, he Cotillion Paran, he Lifesaver Light. All of my cards are so good in this fight. All my relics, all my cards, it's crazy. Easy club pan night bear. Hey, Karthus. Remember when I said Silent could never take this path? Gosh, don't I look like a fool? The Doof Boy thinks the 22 months of meat on the bone. Not bad. Burst is awkward here. I have both Choker and Letter Opener. One of those makes Burst better and the other makes it worse. Definitely a potentially powerful card. I think I'm just going to take Piercing Whale. I have no support for Burst right now. Piercing Whale is currently a pretty good card. Um, Yeah, I'll just get rid of that. Fumes Leg Sweep and we're uh, set for the run. There is a Prismatic Shard. <laughs> the Iron Hummus thinks they're prime. Thanks. Yikes. You're gonna just die to Gremlin Mob? That's pretty gross. This is 15 plus 18, 21, 36. So I get hit again next turn. I have to play Leg Sweep next turn. Is it good to play Survivor here? Hmm. May not have enough damage next turn. Silent, 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 silent. <laughs> I'm gonna take this poison dagger to make sure I can get through the hexaghost fight. I'm gonna rest again. Now we're out of potions. Davy Chansey. Have a right to leave this one alive? Probably not.
We have meat on the bone active. Means we're probably going up to 36 health at the end of this fight, because this one looks over. Bag of props, a nice one to pick up. Take a backflip with four energy already. Pretty happily. Also with the letter opener, backflip gets a little bit better. I want to take six damage in this fight. I still have a lot of strikes in the deck, so I think I do take a Deadly Poison or Piercing Whale here, one of the two. Go Piercing Whale. Take the Fumes upgrade. Another new Minecrafter lost to turtles. Oh, is this a common thing to have happen? Let me steal the five there. Didn't get a Twitch notification when I went live. What does the world come to? Unfortunately, there are a lot of defensive cards in my discard pile right now. We're uh, doing decent damage, though. Probably have to survive the overcharge. That should win the next turn or thereabouts. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Cool. All right. <laughs> Thanks, back club. Good act, too. For energy, it really makes a big difference in act one. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny how when you can play more cards, it makes the game easier. You also get to take cards like Riddle with Holes. I wouldn't be able to take that if I was on three energy. But the fact that I have four energy means I can get away with those awkward two-cost cards. I can also take a thousand cuts here, almost. Like, it's pretty bad with Choker, but the extra energy gives you so much leeway to take cards like that. It's not even that bad with Choker. Like, if it deals uh, five damage a turn, it's a pretty decent card. Take a million cuts? I would very... Wait, a million cuts would deal less damage, I guess. No, I don't think I could take a million cuts, then. Hey, Sneal There are no Wraith Forms or Nightmares or Adrenalines here. There are no Die Die Dies. There's no Corpse Explosion. Could have definitely done better. It's just a question of whether I want a thousand cuts or skip. With letter opener, drawing it probably like stops me from getting a letter opener proc somewhat recently. Somewhat frequently. There's the word. I started it with the wrong letter. God, my brain is just disappearing. It's all full of Slay the Spire knowledge. Hey, Emelyn. I'm doing okay, Skeleton King. 
in deep blue, uh, in TMT, uh, insanity robot, Tinage. Uh, I think this is probably this one. And then I can take acrobatics pretty happily. I think that losing enemy intense is a pretty big deal for a character who has two piercing whales in her deck already. Uh, although I don't have card selection, so I'll just be playing them when I draw them right now anyway. Ectoplasm, I think, hurts quite a lot with uh, Golden Idol. It's not that hard to make Hovering Kite work at like an Acrobatics, maybe even a Tools of the Trade at some point. Start by going to the store with 250 gold and then go from there. Probably. They have meat on the bone. There are options. I could actually, like, I could commit to this right now. We probably survive it. <laughs> Sometimes. If I want to commit to that, I guess I take the left path and I can go this way if I want anyway. Okay. Is our win rate 69% yet? I'm sure for some sample of games have a 69% win rate. I'm not sure which one it is, but I'm sure it exists. Look at that riddle with holes. Put it in some work. Is this the best fight in the game for Riddle with Halls? To be honest, I haven't spent a lot of my life analyzing how good Riddle with Halls is in different fights. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that it's hard to find a fight where Riddle with Halls is better than this one. I think I'll take a dodge and roll after I get some dexterity. That card's not actually that great right now and uh, might continue to not be that great. Ah! Hmm. Okay. That makes it slightly less impressive that I successfully constructed 26 block this turn. Defend. Nice. I think that's a pretty good use of the speed potion there. Hard to get 10 health out of that potion. I guess I only got 8, but still, it's an awkward potion unless you're doing something crazy with it and an artifact charge for a long fight. He's all at McGee. Yeah. Take a dagger throw for Hovering Kite. It is making me an energy every 12 or so turns so far. Pretty good. Pretty good start for it.
It is also making me gold. Sure, sort of. I don't even have anything to spend energy on this turn. I hope I don't end up having needed a strength potion in this fight. I need to take 10 more damage for meat on the bone to go. Eek. strength potion. I don't really want these unupgraded cards right now. Deck's definitely missing a crippling cloud. Jorbs is fucking Houdini sometimes. Our relationship has been strained since his death. But uh, during his life, Houdini and I were lovers. It's true. Imagine if this deck didn't have Noxious Fumes, how would any enemy ever die? <laughs> Congrats, Emzigles, it's awesome. Hey, James. wants to be taught how to not int. It's not a matter of inting less, Honk. It's a matter of inting more until you stop inting. Thanks for the raid. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Yawning Angel. Hey, Awesome Sauce. <laughs> you should watch this run if you think that you have been playing Greedy <laughs> Hawk. <laughs> Ooh, do I buy the bomb? Horn Cleat's very good. I think I have to buy footwork with this deck right now. Queso Parmesan, no. <laughs> the problem with this store is that Hornclade's insane, but I can't buy it, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I can't afford that. Which leaves us at footwork, and hard not to take Sling of Courage, given what I'm trying to do with the deck. Also, I have a Riddle with Holes, by the way. 
All right, two strength. It's only two. Hmm. Interesting turn one. I don't think I'm meant to play Piercing Whale, but maybe I am. That's six cards for the first time today. Entirely sure what's happened to all of my uh, damage cards. I found them. The fight would have been easier if I got to play those twice instead of once. You have to wait for the card to discard to you. This is this and unceasing top. Worst relics in the game. Things said and done, I used no potions and took no damage, so pretty good fight, I guess. I'm going to take a third backflip. I'm going to consider the flex potion. Is it better than a strength potion? If I played it on a dagger spray turn against slavers or a riddle with holes turn against book, it's probably better. Go with yes. hit. We'll use both potions here. This is 11 plus 16. Well, 22 plus 16 is 38. I think only one potion. First time in a couple of elite fights. Oh, here comes more. 27? So I want to take another 2 damage. Done. Thanks for the 16 months sub, talk one more show. To everyone. Centennial puzzle is nice. Now that I have a footwork plus, I can take a dodge and roll and not feel too silly. Gremlin horn and Duvu doll. Here's another strength. It's 
please don't hit a riddle. Eh, I didn't really want you to hit that either, but okay. Book of Stamming is the easiest elite to beat because books are for nerds, and nerds are easy to beat up. Sometimes nerds study martial arts, you gotta be careful about that. Martial arts are incredibly nerdy, but also make one a powerful fighter. It's one of the great paradoxes of the world. How's it going, SBR? Wait, I forgot to take six more damage. I am a failure. Arakalcom, Nightmare. Yeah, this deck should be able to take a Nightmare. Nightmare hits Noxious Fumes and Footwork, most notably at the moment. It can hit Blur in an okay way as well. Um, It feels a little bit late in the run for Ritual Dagger, and I don't think this deck's good at all at stacking it. I think I'll just take the 50 gold. Hey, Moonrender! Whenever you gain gold, heal 5 HP. I actually want sacrifice here. Does the Act 4 Elite Fight drop gold? I don't remember. <laughs> it does, right? It's a silly question because, like, there's no store ever after it. I'm pretty sure they drop gold, though. They should. It's unusual to play that event that way, but I wanted to keep getting gold from Golden Idol. Mostly. If I die in this fight now, it will be very awkward. Especially after how many elites I just killed in a row. Second best fight for Riddle. Who can say for sure?
recently noticed that I'm weak. So it's 16 damage. I should break this. What's my rare chance? I'm looking at giving up 16 health for a card reward, basically. I don't think the math works out in my favor there. I get meat on the bone when I use, uh... Smoke bomb here. Five four. Hopefully I don't just get killed from 37 this turn. It's a pretty awkward turn to expect to be able to play three Noxious Fumes. I don't know, we got away with it. I don't think so. <laughs> uh huh. Thanks. Glad I spent thirty three floors improving my deck. and lots and lots of deck builders in the world where I can Alright, I managed not to die 
to collect her. Wonder if we could have kept the potion. Collector did have 72 poison <laughs> at the end of the fight. So I feel like it's a definite maybe. I'm going to select a Wraith form here. I have assembled Nightmare Wraith form. What does Collector collect? Elves. The Collector collects lots and lots of elves. Tough choice between Philostone and Fusion Hammer, considering that I can upgrade Wraith form if I uh, don't take Fusion Hammer. It's sort of weird because in the heart fight, you don't necessarily want the Wraith form upgrade that much. I guess you do. You also very much don't want the heart to have plus one strength, though, so... I'm gonna try the fusion hammer, I think. Yeah, again, Ryakam, I get emails about, like, 15 a day from people saying that they have a game I will enjoy. <laughs> <I'm> not... <laughs> If you understand what I'm saying. All right. The yeah, obelisk. Hey, Lord Milanor. How many games do I get for games? How many emails do I get for games I won't enjoy? Yeah, that's a crazy thing. Every single one of those games is a game that I would enjoy playing for hours. Which is pretty awesome, I guess. I don't know how I win this run. There are no campfires in the second half of this act. Look at that. There are zero. I want to go to the storm. Maybe I should have taken one to draw three cards there, actually. <laughs> It'd be nice to be able to nightmare something better than dagger throw. <laughs> Gets us there though, right? This is exactly lethal. It's pretty crazy. So we just saw how this went last time. <laughs> I think I win. I have a good potion. 
Oh, I have a very good starting turn as well. Theoretically, you want to take a couple more damage. How much exactly? I need to go to 32, so I want to get hit for 10. Is it going to be close enough? We got Ginger. We can no longer become weakened. Nice. And either an unupgraded deadly poison or a fourth backflip. I'm gonna take the fourth backflip with five or maybe even six energy, depending on how you count it. I wonder if that's Caitlyn or a cat. Caitlyn or cat, the sounds from the kitchen game. I should check. <laughs> it's just sparky. All right. You want to make a slash prediction, but there aren't channel points to do that. Macref. Twitch doesn't own the branding for running a poll. Even Hex thinks the 10 gifted subs. Much appreciated. Thanks for your generosity. Thanks for the support. Thanks, everybody. Hey J Red Ninja, hey Bohan Outer, hey Ben Heck. Merry Christmas to you too. So the store is tricky because I cannot quite buy the stuff I want. <laughs> uh, Dead Branch is actually possibly takeable here for what it's worth. The three things that are strong are Dead Branch to win the run by doing Dead Branch things. Much less strong because of Choker, but still quite strong. Uh, Kunai. Kunai probably not beating the Heart or the Act 4 Elites for us in this deck, but it beats the Act 3 bosses. And maybe the Giant Head, I don't know. Eh, it's pretty unexciting. Or Well-Laid Plants to try to make Nightmare work better. Largely, that's the main thing that Willite Plan does. It also works with uh, Piercing Whale in the heart fight. I think we take that. Yeah, I think we just take that. That means I can remove a strike instead of worrying about Kunai proccing as well. I'm going to buy one. Flex Potion, so that I can kill Reptomancer's Daggers with Dagger Spray, and then I'm going to leave. What about Hand of Greed? What about Hand of Greed? <laughs> you know what? Let me flip that round on you. <laughs> like to take exactly 11 at some point in this fight. 
What happens if we play Dagger Spray right now? That's too much. What if I play All Out Attack right now? That's not taking anything. Hmm. 27, 38. Oh, this actually only takes five. Letter opener is almost a Mercury Hourglass this run. Outstanding. So the Spiker now has 11 Thorns. That's convenient. Ow! <laughs> oh, meat on the bone. <laughs> uh, I want to take the back flip plus. I'm trying to go this way. Just wondering if I will die when I do that. Also wondering about question marks versus hallway fights. There are a lot of question marks in the latter part of the act. Maybe just a hallway fight right now. After floor 40. Oh no. We can get Mind Bloom though. So I think it'll be okay. Feels like Twitch has been having some issues on their side for the last uh, couple of days. It might just be a change in internet usage because people are off work or off school or whatever. I don't know. Although school internet usage is at home at the moment, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. of Footwork Plus. Yeah, 
issues are Jorb stream only, but they aren't apparent in the VODs. Sorry, what? That can't possibly be correct. Can it? I don't feel like that can possibly be correct. Can't be literally only my stream. It could maybe be like some group of streamers. I'm not dropping any frames on my end. And this is with footwork in play? Yikes. Big time yikers. Could we go for a nightmare on leg sweep? Nightmaring fumes makes the most sense though. Problem is if I get big attacked next turn, I can't actually do it. Just go for leg sweep. Backflip might be better. Backflip's better. <laughs> I haven't played a silent deck that is this aggressively one noxious fumes and five backflips in quite a while. But that is certainly what I'm doing right now. Oh. Is there a way to track how much damage Noxious Fumes has done this run? Uh, you could just add up how much health all of the enemies have beaten is, and it's done all of that damage. I don't think anything else has done damage, has it? Not to my recollection. Maybe not. has done a damage or two. We got an Ancient Potion for our Flex Potion, so we can have plus five strength for an entire fight. And we got a Toxic Egg to give us upgraded skills. Whoops. one recall first if I think that the elites are easier than the bosses rest first if I think the bosses are easier than the elites vaguely vaguely that's how this works
I do have meat on the bone. Thank you. I know. You may remember throughout the entire run when I repeatedly <laughs> used meat on the bone to gain health. <sighs> Chap. Okay. Vajra. A molten egg. The eggs are showing up a little bit late this run. For some sort of potion next turn, probably. Or not. I guess not is also okay. That was a very good letter opener proc. Says thinks the eighteen months. Smelchin thinks the nine months. to still be at full health. What am I going to do with my last campfire if I'm just at full health and I have the key already? That's not going to be any fun. Take the upgraded piercing whale. Why not? Oh good. This thing can deal damage to me. Nightmare backflip? Nightmare dodge and roll? to deal with turtles. Turtles are a mod for Minecraft which you can code with Lua and then they execute the commands in game essentially. Yesterday we made one that was meant to mine a hole, basically, but then it like disappeared and then we had to chase it through three different caves to eventually find it and rescue it. It was awesome. I fucking loved it. It was great. Did a rat teach them? Do they have the names of painters? No. Not that sort of turtle. Oh, 
How soon will we get a turtle that can run draw controller percent? That will be interesting. I'm sure somebody's already done that, right? Made turtles that can play Minecraft. Just like from the beginning to the end. <laughs> We begin with uh, turtle.ford to make the turtle move forward one space. Uh, any other questions on line one of code? Or shall I move on to line two of the 1,600,042 that we have to cover today? Is that always what Crippling Cloud has looked like? Hmm. If you're writing a million lines of code, you're doing it wrong. How many do you think you would need for a program that could competently play the entirety of Minecraft? Two million? Alpha Shadow links for the 17 months on Bumu Show to you too. <sighs> Infidel Zombie. A few thousand? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure you quite understand how complicated Minecraft is. How's it going, Jake Treester? Hey, Kreutzer. These cards are a lot better than most of the cards have been offered this run. The question is, do I want Crippling Cloud or Gamble? I think Gamble is... probably the pick here. With five backflips. How efficiently is it supposed to play the game? Well, I guess you can make it play the game poorly if you want, but I was thinking it would play the game well. get energy when we play it. Disgusting. Is eight turns of a tangible enough? <laughs> I don't know if eight turns of intangible is enough for this duck. Does it have unlimited fuel? Of course not. I have like a poison stab. I think I have to nightmare footwork. I think when I nightmare footwork, we're fine. coming turn actually.
Welp, we could be here for a little while. Why am I still here? I haven't been offered damage cards this run. That might not entirely be true. I might have been offered a couple. Riddle with holes, for example. I took a... something over a catalyst at some point, if I remember right. That's true, I've been offered multiple copies of Grand Finale. <laughs> That's true. Several unupgraded deadly poisons have come and gone. I could have bought the bomb, yes. Deck is scary when it doesn't draw a backflip. Fun. I wasn't really expecting to take damage if I went for the footworks. Maybe it was better to go for Wraith Forms. What turn is it? It is turn 13. I don't know if I would have been okay. Alright. Two nightmares. And a bunch of irrelevant shit. Is it actually Wraith Farm or Well Laid Plans? Probably Wraith Farm. All 21 turns of intangible. Yup. <laughs> Settle down, folks. We're in for a long one. Corpse explosion. Looks like an acro plus. Card seems premium. What? I only rest for 19? This is unbelievable. Essentially surreal. Wow. 
right? That card is very strong. Got one card next turn. Perfect play. All right, Fumes is down. It's the beginning of the end for Time Eater here. some leg sweeps maybe I guess I could nightmare wraith form if I'm gonna nightmare wraith form I should probably actually play my attacks nightmare slime I do not recommend nightmaring slime here Just gotta somehow uh, get the fight to a point where Time Eater is actually going to be dead in 12 turns so that I can start playing Wraith Forms. We're not quite there yet, unfortunately. I think we might be there. 12 turns. There's the cleanse to worry about. I can't start poison again. I don't know. If I don't have to drop Wraith Form next turn, I probably won't. I might have to drop Wraith Form, huh? <laughs> not like this. Please, not like this. There's always damage in the letter opener, I suppose. I have two strength. God, why am I even worried? The strike deals eight damage. Genuinely nothing to worry about. I should have played the piercing while else I never draw it. drew it again. Well, these aren't damage cards.
I think we got it. We only need to deal, uh, like, 20 or so damage with non-poison at this point. Keep in mind that the heart doesn't ever cleanse poison. So, compared to the heart, this is actually quite difficult. The heart will be piece of cake. I had an entire turn to spare, by the way. No big deal. We played Neoverse yesterday, Crime of the Mask. Alright. Awakened One. Nightmare of Footwork and go from there. A little bit awkward to Nightmare Footwork against Awakened One because... Yeah, well. Good piercing whales. It should be fine. It is a large amount of damage. <laughs> Holy crap. Sorry. Did Zephyr win the argument? Uh, I gave him a thing or two to think about. That is 56 incoming, which is somehow more than I'm blocking for. Def. and how much? <laughs> I want to Nightmare Blur. 
Which probably means that I... don't want to play acrobatics this turn. Wait, can I even do that? Hmm, maybe. Nightmare Blur Defend? Nomadic thanks for the six months. Now I don't even have to think about playing cards other than backflips. Backflips all the way from here. I didn't even play Neutralize, even though it cost zero, it was in my hand. Gosh. A scintillating performance. Oops. Drew uh, every blur at the same time. Should have played Dagger Throw. That was the correct play there. Will it matter? Of course it will matter. Playing perfectly always matters. I think you might be surprised at this deck. It looks slow, but once it gets going... Oh boy, once it gets going... Letter Opener just went twice that turn, for example. There's one example of uh, the sheer power of the deck that you're witnessing. I think I wanted to play Piercing Whale. Okay, good. Here it is. I want to play that soon. A 420 block. Woo! Now I know that 420 is not the sex number. But I want to suggest what if it were? Wouldn't that be more interesting? Does that imply three people? Nobody's sure. It is, after all, the devil's position, or whatever it is. <laughs> I 
Maybe Jackal. Hey, Jacob. Congrats on the new job. This fight looks to be over, right? I think we want it. How did Riddle with Holes make it into this deck? Riddle with Holes is the bedrock upon which this deck was built. Without Riddle with Holes, this wouldn't even be a deck. there. Almost there. Silent. Is something wrong? You've turned off your targeting computer. Okay, we go to Act 4. We have good gold for this door. Terrible potions. <laughs> I mean, the potions aren't that bad. This potion might have to go, I don't know. I got 666 block three turns in a row. What does it mean? What could it mean? There aren't that many options. Frozen Eye? Yes! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Frozen Eye is legitimately very good here. It's a very good Frozen Eye. Can we remove a strike? And then the question is acrobatics or poison potion over flex potion? I could also take Caltrops. Deals like a hundred and some damage. I need a piece of paper. Maybe just straight up a spreadsheet. <laughs> Hold on, this is probably not actually that hard. So this turn... I need to draw the extra three. And we have these three plus two burns. Plus one, two, three. Backflip, piercing whale, piercing whale. Well laid plans, holding nightmare. I'm here. 
I have Nightmare in my hand, which means I can't play Calculated Gamble. This turn's pretty bad. Hmm. Wraith Farm's in the wrong place. So I think I don't get to rely on an early Nightmared Wraith Form. Well, obviously, because that's the bottom of the, my deck. But, like, more relevantly, I think I have to play Calculated Gamble on turn three. So we're going to be here, and then this will be our turn three. And I'm going to play Calculated Gamble plus a whatever card I retained with Volley Plans. It doesn't really matter. Draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Back foot, back flip, footwork, leg sweep that turn. Maybe not even play Noxious Fumes. And at that point, whether or not we have two burns on our deck or not starts to matter, so I won't try to play past there yet. That's what I've got so far. I could Nightmare something right now. I could Nightmare Dagger Throw. Would that do something? I don't think so. I tried a Nightmare Blur, but I don't think that does anything either. Nightmare Neutralize? Nah. There are going to be two Nightmares in the deck, and I'll have Wraith Form in my hand, so probably that's good. Kill this one first, I think. Definitely need to hit it with these. Shit, did I want to use this? Oh, I actually want to use this this turn. Better late than never, I think. Maybe I'm not even using it. 26, five times. You know, I can almost just kill them. Wait a second. <laughs> can I just kill this next turn? If I have nine strength and I have three dagger sprays and a riddle with holes, 26, 26, 26. Plus 60. I can actually just kill this next turn. In which case I'd want to blur right now. Wait, no, I can't. It means using the artifact potion, though. I don't know if that's correct. Oh, also, there's 30 shield on it, so I can't actually kill it, right? 197. No, I can't actually kill it. Hmm. But next turn, instead of just playing Piercing Whale and crying and stuff, I can go Piercing Whale, Piercing Whale, and Nightmare Riddle with Halls, I think. No, because I won't have the other Piercing Whale in my hand. God, fuck, this is complicated.
Maybe I don't even play well-laid plans. This is why I needed to make a spreadsheet. <laughs> <sighs> if I turn, this is only hitting for fourteen, right? strike blocks for slightly more than defend. It also leaves me facing the way I'd like to be facing next turn. One? Two, three, four, five, and six. Or six. <sighs> sort of like playing the dodge and roll more. condition is hit nightmare on wraith farm it's not play noxious fumes Okay, we got out of the fight with 48 health. That's cool. Unless I got too many burns for Aurichalcum to block, I guess, but unlikely. I think with 48 health, we win against the heart sometimes. Um, having Frozen Eye is going to help a lot with the heart fight. Thing. Well, I use potions for the heart. It is very likely that the artifact potion gets used for the heart.
the Megrim, which debuff this artifact block blocks vulnerable. It's a very big deal. It actually is still blocking. No matter how much I try, get rid of all of my dexterity. Leg sweep refuses to give up on me. Yes. Okay, 48 health. Mango. Poison potion, I think, does more damage than steroid potion. Plain cloud deals damage. But maybe leg sweep's more important. Because if I hit Nightmare Wraith form, I should win, right? It's weird. I take so much chip damage after hitting Nightmare Wraith form in the heart fight. I think I probably do need Crippling Cloud, actually. It deals less damage than the Caltrops that I didn't take at the store. Your Flicker thanks for 10 months. Much appreciated. I think Poison Potion deals more damage than Flex Potion. Would be weird if it didn't. This run's not even at two hours yet. I don't understand why you're all complaining like you are. So I could try to win this by just using Artifact Pot plus Wraith Form to survive the first two attacks, and then Nightmaring Footwork and Nightmaring Noxious Fumes. I think that works. Let's make sure that I have the right setup for that. I want to draw Wraith Farm at the start of next turn. I have three backflips. I have a backflip and acro. Then I'd go... Oh, but there are all of the statuses to worry about. This may not actually work. How many piercing whales are in here? There's one there. Yeah, this is a very hard fight to plan out when I don't know where the statuses are going to go. Can I play Wraith Form this turn? I play Acker right now. I have nine cards in hand and then draw another. I could play Poison Stab and then Wraith Form. It'd be very hard to nightmare footwork though in that spot. Why can't I just draw nightmare and wraith form in the same hand? Why can't it just be easy? Flip goes to eight cards in hand, then acro would be one short. The problem is there's basically no way to get this footwork and nightmare in the same hand unless I use Centennial Puzzle for it, I think. Can I use Centennial Puzzle for it?
probably. If I draw to here, and then I have Wraith Form plus statuses, don't take damage, play Wraith Form. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm drawing five cards. I have the ability to play Dagger Throw that turn if I want, I think. No, I don't actually. Because this only blocks for three. And I can't proc Centennial Puzzle. Possible to play Wraith Form this turn without Centennial Puzzle? Go backflip with eight cards in hand, acro. Well, that could definitely be better. Backflip, acro. Backflip, Wraith Form. I also might be trying way too hard. Maybe I can just use Artifact Pot and not get vulnerable and like just survive and then triple wraith form of nightmare i like this line though backflip acro backflip backflip acro backflip eight Wraith form, these five cards. If I have statuses, I have the ability to mm, change the deck ordering, and then I get like Piercing Whale, Nightmare Footwork the next turn. And then I have Well Laid Plans, and I can Nightmare Noxious Fumes. It feels like that wins to me. I want to play Piercing Whale. Saves a little bit of health, but feels like it's more valuable later. I was going to, I should have played it already. <laughs> Thank you. 
think I want the health. <sighs> My problem here is that this turn I don't actually deal any damage, right? So I have to deal damage somehow <laughs> in this fight. Do I just play fumes? I can just play fumes right now. Can I ever nightmare fumes this turn reasonably? I don't get any of the footworks played. Feels like that's important. Jessica! Thank you for the raid. Maybe I just don't play footwork yet. Or don't play fumes yet. Neither play nor nightmare it. I have dealt 26 damage so far. How's it going? We're in a pretty intense Frozen Eye heart fight at the moment. Can I just go footwork fumes? and not play well laid plans. What about well laid plans, fumes, and not play footwork? Is one noxious fumes and play enough damage to kill the heart before I die? I don't think so. I think I need to nightmare it. I have another damage card I can Nightmare instead. Sort of has to be Fumes. That Will Aid Plans upgrade. Why did I upgrade instead of Will Aid Plans? Wraith Form? Eh, I guess it worked. I'm just going to have to take damage next turn in order to get fumes played. Evernash. I draw Void again? Oh my god. I did not. This is a much better draw. Game? Please don't crash right now. I've worked so hard.
What do we want to do next turn? Just like leg sweep. Blur defend is completely fine. Play one of the fumes. What if I instead backflipped instead of survivor so I can go defend, blur, defend, and two fumes? That way I get more damage going faster. Oh, I get to hold a card. Let's hold survivor since it makes me energy. Seems pretty strong. Letter opener chiming in. Not a lot of block cards in here, really. You can draw through it, though. Dodge and roll seems good to play next turn. Fuck is happening next turn. so that we deal damage, in theory. It is already turn 8, unfortunately. <laughs> I think we're holding. I think we're holding. Gonna have to start drawing piercing whales in the right turns though. to piercing well. What else is there to hold on to really? All out attack. Guess I could play all out attack. Okay, piercing whale is next turn. That's great. Or do I hold it? Can I get to... I could get to the other piercing whale real quick. Is 
is eight cards, which is exactly the wrong number of cards. You know, I'm being surprised at how little health I have. This is dodge and roll plus piercing whale and backflip. No, I don't necessarily have backflip on my hand. Six times 15 going down to one times 15 after piercing whale. I am on three health though, so like... <laughs> you know? I think I have to use the unupgraded piercing whale next turn, so... Now, I could just hold calculated gamble, and then I could go leg sweep, calculated gamble. I think Calculated Gamble seems fine. Leg Sweep, Piercing Whale, Calculated Gamble even. If I backflip to get closer to the good cards. Is Acro better? And calculated gamble. Oof. What about just backflip? Leg sweep, piercing whale, backflip, backflip. without piercing my all right these cards I don't particularly want in my draw pile I don't think I do have to deal a little bit more damage I'd like to play poison stab this turn I think I've played this turn in particular like very badly pile. Where is piercing whale? <laughs> it's the bottom of the fucking thing. It's okay though, I have calculated gamble I can get there. Next turn, backflip, acro, calculated gamble, backflip, acro blur or something. if this turn is the one where I play piercing whale, but okay. One, two, three, four. I can't quite play blur this turn. Can I block for enough next turn? 
have neutralize. I have a dodge and roll. This all comes down to can I block or not next turn. I think I'm short. I think I was a turn short. Can I kill before then? Backflip, 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 dagger throw. I'm one card away. Blur, defend, piercing whale, acro, backflip, backflip. I don't think that's enough. I think I was actually one card away. Another way I could have won is not playing the other piercing way on the previous multi-attack turn. That's unpleasant. If I had blur... How much block do I need off blur? Maybe blur's not even enough, honestly. Interesting fight. I wonder what happens if we just go for the Wraith Farm Nightmare. Sidus, thanks for eight months. 